And if you can see in the puddle there, it looks like a small caiman. So I'm gonna try to catch it. Animals can draw blood. It's a tiger rat snake. But there's a kinkajou right above me. Yes, lots back. Hey, this is Frank of Ocho Verde Wildlife. Welcome back. We're in freezing cold South Carolina, uh, but we're gonna be heading back to Costa Rica shortly for a little bit of tropical herping and some JT, jungle time. So why don't you come along and see what we can find. We got a bind snake. These, of course, are non venomous, although they do have a irritating little toxin, sometimes bothers people. See how they're very good at climbing. All right, blind snake, enjoy your afternoon. Well, I wanted to show you this tree because it's got a, uh, a puddle in it and inside of it, there were some tadpoles the other day. So let's take a look and see if they're still here. I see at least one. There's another one kind of toward the top of the screen at the point of that leaf. A couple more along the leaf. There they are. Uh, I don't know what type these are. They could be uh, dart frogs, although they're usually, dart frogs are usually more single. Uh, they could be a number of tree frogs. Just not sure what they are. But what we will do is we will monitor them uh, over the next uh, 10 days that we're here and see what they turn into or see how they metamorphose. Should be cool to find out. We got our tin of disappointment here. Let's see what happens when we flip it. Huh. Check it out. A dart frog. Beautiful. No snake though. Tin of disappointment. Hey, so I'm on my way to the bank and I'm driving along. I just left our house. And if you can see in the puddle there, it looks like a small caiman. So I don't want it in the road and I would like to relocate it onto our property. So I'm gonna try to catch it. We'll see. You never know what you'll run across in Costa Rica. All right, I got it. Uh oh shit. All right, so we got the caiman in the box. So we just had to back up down here to our creek and we'll let him go. Well, you didn't stay in the box for very long. All right, so this is the destination of the caiman. See him in there. He knew exactly where he was going. He knew exactly where he was going. That's amazing. We've seen precious few of these too. Uh, I don't know where they've all been. This is a youngster, but we haven't seen hardly any adult. I think I maybe saw one adult, but they're always fun to see. Again, this may be a function of just drying out a little bit and letting these guys get a chance to uh, roam some.
Can you see that snake right there? It's a tiger rat snake. Look at that guy. Skinny guy too. Of course, it's called the tiger rat snake because it's been known to eat tigers. No, they eat rats. And they have those tiger-like stripes. A lot of people think that they eat venomous snakes, but they don't. So they probably eat quite a few birds. And they probably eat quite a few mammals as well. Things like squirrels, jungle mice, things like that. He's at least two meters long, at least. See, he's starting to get a little bit nervous. This is a huge snake. He's over six feet. Probably closer to eight feet. Cool. They're quite fast when they're on the run. That's why uh, it's best not to chase after them. If you can get a good uh, photo opportunity with them, go ahead and take it. Awesome tiger rat snake. How cool is that? Looking for tree frogs and probably lizards. There's a good picture of it making its head triangular shape. It scares a lot of people. Also, there's uh, elliptical pupils. That's another thing that people get freaked out about. But it's a medically insignificant snake looking for lizards and tree frogs. Crazy noises in the jungle, but check. I think that's a sloth. Check this out. I'm surprised it took us this long to find a full on adult blunt head tree snake. Looking for lizards and tree frogs. Amantodi cinchoa. This is an adult. He's probably close to four feet long. Look how delicate he is. Stick my finger in there for scale. Anyway, that is snake number three. I'm gonna look around and see if there's another one hanging out nearby like it was earlier. Oh, it's raining. We haven't found much, but we did happen to find this nice animal right here. They're very similar to the Carolina animals in look. They're quite a bit larger than the largest uh, animals in South Carolina where we, we usually see them. Anyway, pretty cool. Can you see it up here? There it is. Okay, where's the head? It's hiding, huh? This is a Saibon nebulatus. This is the uh, clouded snail eater. Non-venomous, of course, at least to people. It's a beautiful snake. It's got some pink and the gray. We don't see a lot of them here, but we do see a few 
especially this time of year. It's a very cool snake. Glad we found it. All right, let's go. It's another one of these uh, turnip tail geckos. You can see his tail has uh, regrown from some type of loss of the tail, maybe by a predator or, uh, you know, getting it caught on something. They're pretty cool. Well, I'm gonna try to show you this. I doubt we'll be able to see it, but there's a kinkajou right above me. They're kind of cool because they kind of follow you around the jungle. Mip, mip, mip. Here we are at the uh, at the house, coming down out of the mountains here, and I just found a really cool lizard. It's a canopy lizard. They are just beautiful. Look at that tail on it. I mean, seriously, that tail is like three times the body length. And notice it's got those pink bars on the side. I've never seen one this low before. You see them uh, much higher in the, in the canopy, uh, 10, 12 feet up, but I've never seen one this low. Outstanding. What a spectacular critter. Yeah, it's lots back. Meow, meow. This is another uh, Allen's worm salamander. Pretty good size, he's about four inches long. It's not uncommon at all for them to be climbing on trees as we've seen earlier. Very cool. Well, I'm thinking this is Ninny Immaculata, but I'm not 100% sure. It's the perfect place for Ninny Immaculata. I've never seen one this red before. It's kind of a small snake. You can see my fingers in there. Sure is acting like a Ninny Immaculata, flattening out like that. But again, I've never seen one quite so red before. It's definitely Ninny Immaculata, if you, can, if you can look at the belly. See there. Very cool. Very cool to see a baby Ninny Immaculata. All right, onward. Here's the snake. I'm not sure what kind it is, or if we can even find it. it went underneath here, underneath here. Oh, it's right there. Ah, oh, it's a Ninny. This is a uh, coffee snake. There we go. Ninia maculata, coffee snake. You know, it's flattening out there. Thought we might run across some of them uh, on this trip. These, of course, are a favorite food of uh, coral snakes. They pretty much live in leaf litter. They got a beautiful belly, check it out. Well, there it is right there. Almost looks like a corn snake in the United States. All right, Ninny Immaculata, go on. Cool. These are a couple of masked tree frogs. They're pretty cool when they're calling. And they're coming over here to see me for some reason. And they're like right here. Whoop, 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 whoop. Look at that guy. He just climbed up my hands. Whoop, 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 whoop. They probably think I'm some type of mate or something. But Mr. Froggy, I'm gonna put you down. There. There, there's your pool. <laughs> your pool. Look at that. These are as tame as they can be. 
All right, guys, have a good night. They just might be Overton.